Tesla and Elon Musk are not strangers when it comes to running rings around analysts and shocking so-called household names in the stock market. Many people have learned the hard way that betting against Musk is not such a good idea. However, many experts noticed Musk and Tesla's potential early, and today they are reaping the fruits. These experts have now revealed that Tesla will become the most valuable company in the world, not in the electric vehicle market, not in the auto industry, the entire world. Apple currently holds that position firmly by more than $400 billion. Today, our video looks at how Tesla can usurp the tech giants. Can Tesla really become the most valuable company in the world? How would they achieve this, and how long would it take? We'll be answering these questions in today's video. Following some impressive delivery numbers to close out the year 2021, Tesla has received accolades from analysts and rivals over its financial results amid chip shortages and other obstacles that may have plagued the electric vehicle industry. With a market capitalization of about $2.7 trillion, Apple presently owns the title of the world's most valuable corporation. Could a firm like Tesla possibly catch up to the tech giant? In many ways, Tesla and Apple are similar. Though Tesla is an automotive company specializing in the manufacturing of electric vehicles and energy storage systems, the mode of operation of the firm is very much like a Silicon Valley tech firm. This has led many people to believe that Tesla is more of a software company than a hardware company. And going by the tech on a standard Tesla vehicle, that claim is not out of place. Tesla believes that the next big stage of development for their vehicles is the progression of full self-driving. Many experts and analysts believe this too, and they speculate that Tesla would be able to crack full self-driving before 2022 runs out. These experts believe that once Tesla can make a fully self-driving car, the company's value in stock price would go by leaps and bounds. Artificial intelligence necessitates several factors. First, you'll need a lot of data. To train AI models, you need powerful hardware. Then you need strong hardware to execute those AI models and make inferences or judgments to really put the AI to work. Tesla has an advantage in all three categories. In 2016, the business changed their automobiles from one external camera to eight external cameras and 12 ultrasonic sensors and radar, which is no longer used. As a result, the corporation may gather driving data. It now has over a million autopilot-enabled automobiles on the road, utilizing it to collect data. Andrej Karpathy, Tesla's chief of AI, stated in 2020 that the business has 3 billion miles of real-world driving data. Then, some analysts believe the sum has risen to more than 5 billion, which is very feasible. That declaration was made by Andrej Karpathy in February 2020. Alphabet's Waymo said about the same time that they had around 20 million miles. GM staff stated that they have around 2 million miles. Also, Tesla's in-car chip was six years ahead of anything else on the market. To put it into context, the business used NVIDIA processors before developing theirs, and NVIDIA is widely recognized as the gold standard for their AI software rather than hardware. Receiving such recognition is significant. In 2021, Tesla discussed their D1 chip, which will be the AI processor that drives their data center supercomputer dubbed Dojo during their AI day. The Dojo might be the world's most powerful AI training machine. Tesla has more data, a better influence chip, and a better training chip than anybody else on the market. As a result, we believe Tesla will be the first to bring an autonomous vehicle to the market. Indeed, Elon Musk stated in September 2020 that they will have a fully autonomous $25,000 electric vehicle on the market in three years. It's been a year since he stated that, and Tesla has made a lot of promises that they don't always keep, but I believe that they will eventually. So it's clear that Tesla, aside from being the market leader in electric vehicles, already has a significant gap over their rivals. The amount of data on self-driving they have is increasing each day. There are so many vehicles on the road collecting information for Tesla on self-driving. And things get even better when you realize they have a quantum computer that is built for the sole purpose of processing this information as the company looks to seal its place as the most dominant vehicle manufacturer of all time. With Tesla's current market share and the number of vehicle sales it recorded in its 2021 report, many experts believe that Tesla has the potential to become the most valuable company in the world. Galileo Russell shared some of his views on the matter when Musk tweeted last year that Tesla had a greater than 0% chance of becoming the the biggest company as a joke. 
Tesla is on track to become the world's largest corporation. This is not an exaggeration, I'm not kidding. I genuinely believe that is going to happen, Gully said in a video. Although there are a few Teslas in every city, Gali believes that in a few years, there will be a mix of the 3, Y, and a cheaper Model 2 that might potentially be a robo-taxi. He also addressed the Tesla ride-sharing app, via which you would be able to order a clean, green, sustainable transport anywhere you go, if everything goes as planned. You obviously remember last year. The company was rumored to have a deal with the popular car rental company Hertz. Although the deals about the Hertz and Tesla deal are still unclear, it caused a significant increase in Tesla's stock. Now, imagine when an official agreement is announced or when Hertz starts using Tesla vehicles as part of its rental service. Imagine how much growth that would cause. You would start seeing more Teslas on the road. A lot of people who haven't been in a Tesla before would be able to experience a first-hand feel of what it's like, probably through a rental service. And what do you get? More Tesla customers. It shouldn't be doubted that Tesla creates very safe and durable cars. However, a lot of people are skeptical about going electric because they haven't actually tried it out. But again, the increase in the number of charging stations and the plans Biden's administration has for electric vehicles should cause more wide-scale adoption of Tesla and other electric vehicles. So, you see that several external forces are waiting to push Tesla's value up, and it's only a matter of time. Excluding these external factors, you can be certain that Tesla is not taking its foot off the pedal. Aside from improving the quality and affordability of its vehicles, Tesla has been working on increasing the number of cars it can produce. Already, the company has a lot of orders it is yet to meet. In fact, some vehicles like the Cybertruck have a long list of pre-orders when mass production of the car hasn't even begun yet. This is why the new Gigafactories in Austin and Berlin are so vital in Tesla's growth, especially in 2022 and in the next five years. The new factories are expected to begin production early this year if they haven't already started by the time you watch this video. The factories in Austin and Berlin are expected to increase the number of cars Tesla can produce annually. If you thought the 2021 numbers were outrageous, wait until you hear the delivery numbers for 2022. The more people realize that Tesla has the potential to be the biggest company of all time, which people are actually beginning to notice compared to a few years ago, you would see a kind of snowball effect occurring as knowledge of Tesla expands beyond the usual Tesla space. Once this mindset is in a good number of people, they are less likely to sell their Tesla shares. Then you'll see the stock price rising to that biggest company mark in terms of market cap. Definitely, this would take a while, but Tesla is on course to do this. This may be why Apple is trying to break into the electric vehicle space. This is all speculation, but it's not ridiculous to think that Apple has seen that they are losing their grip on the title of most valuable company in the world, so they are eager to enter into direct competition with their most significant rival, Tesla. But even if Apple breaks into the electric vehicle market, it might be too little too late. So, you have a lot of reason to believe Tesla will reach that most valuable mark, barring any catastrophe. Experts like Ron Barron and Kathy Wood have been hinting at it. The split and a possible second split in less than 20 years is hinting at it. And now we're hinting at it. What do you think of Tesla becoming the MVC, the most valuable company in the world? Comment down below.